Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another video and today I will be checking out another new single from Johnny Booth. This one is called Full Tilt. It's also taken from the upcoming album Moments Elsewhere, which I have no idea when it's coming out, but there's an album trailer for it. The first single off of it was Collapse in the Key of Fireworks, which I also covered on the channel. A fantastic track. It seems like more people are finally getting into Johnny Booth, getting more recognition that's well deserved in my opinion. So I will link the video I'll be using in the reaction portion of this as well as all of the band's social media in the description of this video. Otherwise, I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get straight into it. Face in that transition. Oh, 
all those Hanumans and Vokas look beautiful. Johnny Booth, full tilt, let's discuss. Johnny Booth continues to put out really refreshing sounding music. I think they do a great job of balancing this sort of chaos that you hear in, in a lot of subgenres, I think, and I wouldn't pin them to one. Uh, it feels like influence that comes from all over the place and not a sound that you're like, oh, this sounds like, because it usually just sounds like Johnny Booth, but when you really break into some pieces of each song, you can definitely at least make comparisons with some of like the crazy and chaoticness. Uh, there are some big bands that did did that sound, but not ever in a way that Johnny Booth is doing it. And I think this song really showcases the ability to bring in this melodic feel to something that can also have that chaos that I was just talking about all in the same, at the same time, really. If you listen to the intro, of this track again, I think that's a really good example of it because uh, in a lot of the guitar work, the timing and stuff at first, it feels it feels like that chaotic sort of sound, but uh, as it progresses and especially towards the second half of it, uh, there's this underlying melodic feel that then sort of takes over even more, if that makes sense. Uh, and I think progression is a big thing with Johnny Booth. If you uh, go to about the middle of the song somewhere, I'll need to listen to this more than one time, I think, to, to accurately know all of that. But somewhere in the middle, I think it was, it comes in and it sounds for a moment like it's about to be a, a singing, uh, I don't want to say verse because there's a bit of variety there, but it sounds like it's about to be singing, but then it's more spoken that turns into screaming and then the singing comes along. So that, things like that I think are just so different from the approach that a lot of other stuff I listen to would take or does take. And I think that's a really special type of ability to blend those things together so seamlessly. Like none of it feels really out of place. I hear some stuff that has uh, those two you know, that type of contrast, but they're very like, and, and we've talked about it a decent amount on the channel, I feel as well, where you get a, you know, a bit of the song that's super chaotic and then at the drop of the hat, it just switches and it's very smooth and it's, it's very uh, more rhythmic and that sort of thing. But with Johnny Booth, I feel a lot of those moments come together as one. Uh, so there is a lot to unpack with this song too. It's a longer one at about four and a half minutes. The last track definitely left me wanting just more Johnny Booth, which is great because there's a record upcoming. Uh, but this one felt, they both go by really fast though, I would say. Even for being like a four and a half, five minute song with the video, uh, it, it feels like it goes by really quickly still. For a track that has a lot of aggression in it, especially the second half of the song or the really the outro specifically, but I think after the singing part I'm talk about, talking about, it drops to a pretty heavy place as well. Uh, and a lot of the synth work, I think, kind of adds to what we were just talking about with the the two sides. I don't want to limit them to just two. Of course, there's a lot of like in between uh, and a lot of detail that goes, you know, it's not simply one or the other sound, but for uh, simplicity's sake, we'll just keep it at at that for what we're talking about here. But you have the synth, which adds a lot, I think, especially in the, the blending of these sounds. The synth kind of having a lead in some of the more aggressive moments or even some of the lighter moments that in it kind of carries through, it, it does a good job of being one of those qualities that kind of merges things together to your ear as you're listening. You're like, oh, I maybe not consciously realizing, but like, oh, this carried over from uh, this part that had this wacky riff uh, over into where it opens up a little bit. And things like that, I think we'll see on this record. A lot of surprises as well. Johnny Booth is not a band that I feel like when I go into a track, uh, I know what to expect or that I should really expect one thing or another. 
a very cool project. So I'm, I'm more recently getting into Johnny Booth. There's like one track I've been listening to for like three years and then more recently in the last six months uh, to a year I've been diving further into uh, the discography and such. So it's been a fun time. There is a lot to offer there. So if that's at all something you're considering, I would uh, urge you to jump into it. I'm sure you'll find some stuff that goes right onto the playlist for you. I, I'm really excited for this album though. If anyone does know the release date or anything when, when that announcement comes, let me know. I am following on socials and stuff, so hopefully I'll see that myself, but I'm really looking forward to it. These two singles, I think, rightfully create a lot of hype around that release, and it's going to be one that hopefully continues gaining traction, because like I mentioned, I feel it's, it's well-deserved and hasn't been there fully. I know there's been some people who pop into streams over the years. I think initially in 2021 or 2020, that was how I found the band, I'm quite sure, but uh, I, I don't remember anymore after all the songs we've done. But regardless, I am glad they ended up on my radar. I will link all of their social media and such in the description. With something like this, there's not anything I want different. I love the sound of that singing as well, which is something I kind of skipped over in talking about the presentation of it. Uh, but the sound of the singing there, I love. I love the, the more, uh, you know, the rage-filled moments as well, just as much. But uh, the singing adds quite a quite a nice contrast there so uh, nothing but excitement for this record i yeah all the description links will be there and that's about it for the song let me know what you thought in the comments other than that you can also find my link tree in the description that will have the discord server invite link the patreon my twitch channel discord is where the community is based for my youtube channel we've got a bunch of music lovers in there having both conversation related to music and unrelated to music so if you're interested in checking that out that will be there on Patreon. I offer various different things. At the time I'm filming this, we're coming up on our monthly live stream, but it may end up getting posted uh, after the fact. It'll be the first weekend of June, but I do do those every month, go over a monthly recap. I offer playlists for tier three. It's all listed in the tiers if you have any interest. And also on Twitch, I'm trying to get my regular schedule going. So if you're interested in following me there so you can see when I go live, that'll also be there. Tuesday request streams are still taking place on YouTube. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.